okay today we are going to see the free cad uh, uh, 3d printing of a pen stand so first uh, we require to go to the part design and then uh, once the workbench is shifted to free cad part design you need to go to create body create sketch select the top view so decrease the zoom okay you have to keep this side the cursor has to be on this side so that you can have a good pose or here for your uh, making the drawing so here we are going to select the hexagon and then we are going to make a hexagon here uh, see to that it is going to be one of the edges is going to be straight so okay then press escape select one of the side and then give the dimension it's 25 mm for each side so then uh, it's completed press escape and then uh, enter pad change it to 80 mm convert it to open inverter I've got this way okay now go to again cat select the space so I've got uh, the one of the side being opened up you can change the, the thickness of the wall to around 5 mm and the arc to be an intersection now it is completed now you can uh, go to open inverter and see your pen stand it's now ready now we should try to keep some text on this okay <coughs> so for the text part uh, we need to go to the draft In the draft, we have the shape string, and uh, you are going to write down a text here. I write down my company's name over here, my training institute name, print 3D. And then uh, I'm going to select uh, the font. The font uh, I put some of the fonts in the desktop, so I'll select Arial Bold and uh, OK. So the text is here. Go to the model, select the shape string, and uh, go to the placement. No, not the placement. This way it cancel. So select the shape string, go to the view, bounding box, make it true. It will be selected. This area will be selected. Next go to the data. Map mode deactivated. So it is now activated. And we need to change this to CAD okay now it's completed for this you need to change the yaw position and make it to 90 we'll see how this goes up over here see how the text is rotating so this is the best way to get the text once it's completed, you can uh, 
uh, move the text and we to align the text and the most uh, required position for you and then you need to press minus one is going inside so you need to check that whether the text is exactly aligned on the surface or not you will see here so it's exactly aligned if it's not aligned then you might feel the text is somewhat away from the surface then you can actually see while rotating this particular uh, pen stand so once you ensure that this is okay fine next go to okay click it it's now complete <coughs> now again select this shape string select the shape string and make it false so it's now complete now this again go to the part next uh, select the shape string go to extrude take it as 2mm create solid and then uh, it's click OK now your text is extruded it's projected I want to show you this way so that uh, I can have a complete view of this so This is over now. What you need to do is that so it is now so this is over. Next, what you need to do is that this one you can shade it. Uh, this is now shaded, uh, but uh, one more important thing that you need to do before completion of this happens to be so here you need to check that this and this okay need to be boolean i mean we have to combine this next uh, you need to apply it's not completed. If you don't boolean, you don't get the text uh, being uh, engraved onto the surface. It will take some time. Let's complete. Now close. Occlusion is the one you need to do. Go to export. Just select STL file. STL mesh, STL UST, and then uh, give a name. I'll give it as uh, YouTube video. YouTube video. Mm. Okay. Here I'm going to make it as YouTube. Video, save it. Now we should go to the desktop and say how the things has been done over here. There is a slicer that is a Cura software. You can see the object over there. So it will take some time and uh, uh, Is around uh, 10 minutes being left over for us. 15 seconds, okay. So, it's over, so we'll start.